Right, I reckon this will take us two minutes to do. So it says, a spear's thrown over level ground from the top of a tower. So there's the top of the tower, a lovely spear. And it lands on my level ground over here somewhere. Uh, I've got the, the height, oh that's quite nice. That 12.25 tells me how high it was when I initially started. Because if t is zero, then time's nothing, I'm on top of the tower. So I know the top of the tower is 12.25. Oh, part A, interpret the meaning of the constant. Oh my word. Right then, so it's the height of the tower. There we go, A's done. B, after how many seconds does the spear hit the ground? So it hits the ground when the height is zero. So I'm gonna call, I'm gonna find T. when h of t is nothing. So I'll stick it in poly. So let's have a look, stick that in poly. Uh, menu, equation, poly two. What have I got then? So I've got to be careful here, because it's minus 4.9, because it's the wrong way around, isn't it? Uh, plus 14.7 and 12.25. Don't get caught out with the fact that it's been written the wrong way around, so you put the numbers in the wrong way around. So what have I got? So I've got minus 0.679 uh, times minus 0.679. Well, that doesn't really make much sense, that really, because t is bigger than zero. And is that 3.67 or 3.87? Uh, 3.68, yeah. 3.68, yeah. So it takes 3.68 seconds to land there. That minus 0.67, if it's been fired from the ground and passing over your head, it would have been fired 0.679 seconds before you. That's what that kind of means. C says, uh, write it in that form. Oh, right, so let's cheat. Let's use our calc. First of all, I know there's a minus 4.9, so that's going to be there. So I've got an A minus B, T minus C squared. So I know the minus 4.9 is going there. The other bit, this bit, is my vertex. So A and C are my vertex and B is what's in front of the T squared. Well now I'm three, three minutes here. I'm nearly done with this question. Done with it forever. Right, so I need to graph it now. Oh my word. Right. What am I on here? So 12 0.25 plus 14.7x minus 4.9x squared. Got a nice picture. Still not an amazing picture, is it? Let's go 0, 0 on the x's, uh, reduce 0, 0 on the x and the y, reduce the x down to 4, but increase to find the maximum. So I want 0 to 4, and I want 0. Now, it hit, it started at 12.25, so it's got to be over 12.25. Let's just try 18 for now, just a pure guess. And if we get a nice picture, so it's not good enough yet, is it? So let's go to about 25 then. There, now I've just got the top of it in there. So let's get the vertex off that. Uh, max point, so 1.5 is it? Yeah, 1.5 is the across. So I know that my vertex is 1.5 across, so that must be a minus 1.5 in there. And 23.28 up, oops, 
can't see that, can you? I've got my read on. So my vertex is 1.5 across and 23.28 up. So that goes here, 23.28. There. That'll do us. Right, what else we got on this question? Got it. Right, D says, find the max height. Well, that's all right. So then, now, if you use your height, so find the maximum height above the ground. Okay, so max height is 23.28 meters. Uh, and the time at t equals 1.5 seconds. Job, job. It's got to be some questions for you. Have fun. Well done.